Hello viewer, welcome to the Science Hub. My name is Eden Kagwira and from Loreto Convent Valley Road and these are my colleagues Kachi and Jerry and Rachel Kuku. We're going to be taking you through a part of the first topic of the Form 2 syllabus. We're going to be learning about the periodic table and the first 20 elements. So uh, over a hundred elements which have been discovered so far and scientists have tried to compile them into a periodic table. The periodic table has been successfully combined in 1913 by a British scientist called Henry Mosley. A periodic table is a vert vertical and horizontal arrangement of elements according to various factors such as atomic numbers, electronic configuration and type of element. A group are the number of outermost electrons in an energy level, while the period are the number of energy levels occupied by an electron. The groups are written in Roman numbers, while the period is written in arithmetic. In a standard periodic table like this one, there are 18 groups and 7 periods. This is the modern periodic table, which it has 7 different periods and 8 groups. The 8th group is also written as 0. So the first two groups, are contain the metallic element. In the middle, we have the transitional element, and the last group contain the non-metallic element. In Form 2, we only require to know the first 20 elements. We shall now move on to the first 20 elements of the periodic table. In order to remember the first 20 elements of the periodic table, we have come up with a mnemonic, which we shall now show you. the mnemonic we came up with in order to remember the first 20 elements. It says, Hey, Helen, Helen, listen, BBC News on Friday night. Somali minister arrested some people seen committing a political crime. And these are the actual elements that the mnemonic represent. Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, and calcium. These are the number of electrons in the atom. It also, it's also referred to as electronic arrangement. The electronic arrangement is also known as electronic configuration. It refers to the distribution of the electrons in their different energy levels. The atom has a maximum number of energy levels an electron can occupy. In order to get the maximum electron that an energy level can hold, we use the formula n squared, where n represents the number of energy levels. We are now going to get examples from the periodic table. Um, sodium. An atomic number of 11. So you write the formula. So you have to distribute the electrons. So 2 is to 8 is to 1. So you draw the nucleus first and place the protons and the neutrons. You draw the next energy level. With the first two electrons, they must be vertically opposite. So you place the first one here and the next one here. The next two, since there are three energy levels, so you draw the first and the second energy level. Um, for these electrons, they don't have to be like this, they can be in any order, but these two must remain a constant. The different areas and different energy levels and the electrons. The first energy level has two electrons. This is because of the formula which Cashel showed us. Another way to write the energy levels is. Another example of calcium, which has an atomic number of 20. 20. The electronic configuration will be 2, 8, 
eight and two. The electronic configuration of sodium and calcium. Sodium has two, eight, one. Since it has only three digits, it's in the third period. While calcium has two, eight, eight, two. Since it has four digits, it will be in the fourth period. In order to get the group of the different elements, we look at the last electron. Sodium has the last electron as one, therefore meaning it's in the first group, while calcium has the last electron as two, so it will be in the second group. Thank you viewer for staying tuned to Illumi TV. We hope that you've learned a lot. It's been our pleasure teaching you. Thank you.